Hello and welcome back to Color Me in Style. My name is Pooja, and today I'm taking you to the Twelve of Hostels from Melbourne. The Great Ocean Road is one of the best things to see if you have a car and you're in Melbourne for more than a weekend. This has to be one of the most scenic attractions near Melbourne, so definitely go for it. Before we go ahead, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video for more updates. So today we are starting our journey from South Bank in Melbourne. You can do the journey to 12 Apostles in about two and a half hours if you take the fastest route. But I would highly recommend taking the four hour route, which is the scenic route, the Great Ocean Road, to get to 12 Apostles. I say this because you've got so many lookout points on the way on Great Ocean Road and you're literally driving by the ocean. Here you go, you can see it now. If you start early in the morning, you'll be able to stop for some great beaches along the way and just, you know, make multiple stops on this Great Ocean Road to check out various lookout points. If you have more than a weekend at hand, I would recommend coming and staying in one of the little towns along the coast and enjoying an Airbnb and just, you know, exploring around this location. Lorne and Apollo Bay has some great options for Airbnbs and um, home rentals that you can look at. Here's a quick look at one of the lookout points that we stopped at. Um, just love the sea. The Great Ocean Road isn't just a drive, it's an experience. Winding its way for 243 kilometers between Torquay and Warrnambool, it's a tapestry of rugged natural beauty and charming coastal towns. From surfing havens like Bells Beach to the laid-back vibes of Lorne, every corner offers something unique, so it's definitely worth exploring. As we cruise along, let's roll down the windows and breathe in the crisp ocean air. Feel the sun on your face and wind in your hair. This is freedom! I mean, keep your eyes peeled for some playful dolphins because there are loads in this area that you can watch. Just check this out. This is such a beautiful stretch of road. I mean, who would want to miss this drive? This is Lorne. It's a vibrant coastal town known for its relaxed atmosphere, stunning beaches and diverse activities. With a history dating back to the 1800s, Lorne was initially a timber town before transforming into a popular tourist destination. Today, it boasts a permanent population of around 2,000, which swells significantly during peak season. Now let's make a quick stop to Lorne Pier. There is some parking here and uh, some shops and also some toilets. There's also a space for a barbecue and picnic. So this is the view from the pier. You can come here and put a fishing line or just walk along. It's just so beautiful. Look at how clear the water is. So this is Lawn Pier and stretching proudly into the turquoise waters, this historic pier offers breathtaking views of the coastline. You can grab a coffee from uh, the restaurant nearby and just watch the waves or, I don't know, do some fishing if you want to.
Next up, we are stopping at Cape Patton Lookout Point. Um, this offers spectacular views of the Apollo Bay. There is a small parking area marked by a stone hedge type boundary, so worth a stop for a quick photo. Now let's cruise on to go to the Twelve Apostles. This is the parking at Twelve Apostles. As you can see, there's loads of spaces and uh, people are always coming and going, so you're bound to get a space. Okay guys, we are now going to do the Twelve Apostles helicopter ride. <laughs> oh my god, that's going to be really cool. If so this is my boarding pass. Um, we are booked on the 16 minute flight, but there are three options you can take, which are 16 minutes, uh, there's a 25 minute flight, and there is a one hour flight that you could take. So the 16 minute uh, flight is the cheapest at $165 per person. It goes from the 12 apostles, um, to the Sentinel, the Arch, and then the London Bridge, and then it comes back. So, with the 25 minute flight, you will go to Twelve Apostles, Lockhart Gorge, um, Baker's Oven, Sentinel Rock, Port Campbell, Two Mile Bay, the Arch, and London Bridge, the Grotto, and Bay of Martyrs, and end at the Bay of Islands and sorry you also come back the same way um, so this will be for 25 minutes and it costs about $245 so here you go you can now start to see the 12 Apostles um, although the name is 12 Apostles um, there are actually just eight apostles left now um, they are a collection of eight majestic limestone stacks off the coast of Port Campbell National Park in Victoria and here are some interesting facts about them they're formed by millions of years of erosion from harsh southern ocean waves gradually bearing away the softer limestone cliffs millions of years ago they started off as caves in the cliffs which evolved into arches, then they collapsed, leaving isolated rock stacks that we see here today. Did you know that despite the name, there were never actually 12 stacks visible from the main viewpoint? Originally, there were nine, but one collapsed in 2005, leaving eight. So you know this is an eight-seater helicopter including the pilot so there's seven people that can come um, into this helicopter uh, which is perfect for us because we were a group of six and there was one person who was single uh, who wanted to join along I should also tell you that there's a one-hour helicopter ride that you can do for about 585 Dollars, and in this flight you will see the 12 Apostles, Lock and Gorge, Baker's Oven, Sentinel Rock, Two Miles Bay, Arch, uh, London Bridge, Bay of Martyrs, Bay of Islands, Point Ronald, Pebble Beach, Moonhead, uh, Moonlight Head, Wreck Beach, Castle Cove, um, Blanket Bay and Cape Otway Lighthouse and then you will turn back around from there. So it's quite a lot to see in that one hour uh, flight. If you have the money, I would definitely go for that one. So guys, this heart-shaped rock that you see here is London Bridge. And soon after this point, we are gonna turn around and go back. 
So now that we've landed, we are now uh, walking around and exploring the Twelve Apostles lookouts. Uh, there is a very nice scenic walk that you can do, but because we got here pretty late, um, we didn't have enough time to cover them all. But this is the main one that you should cover. Just being here is so incredible and um, it was so sunny that day. You can just see how the light is reflecting from the sea. There is also a beach that you could go to but um, I'm gonna take you to Port Campbell next. Yeah. Welcome to Port Campbell. If you're at 12 o'clock still and you're late, like we are, it's evening, 6 in the evening, the kids really wanted to go to the beach. So we've come to this small little beach. And, oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this guys. I'm gonna stay here and let the sun warm me. That's what I'm gonna do. The kids are already in, in the water. Let's go forward a little bit. It is really fine sand and the sea seems really calm. Really calm. Okay. I think I think once you dip your feet in, it's absolutely fine. Um, and I, this is a small beach. If you're coming to Kuala a coast, so um, you know the cafe closes really quickly. There's hardly anything to eat up there, so um, you should always come to this time town. They have a few options to eat over there. The time is 6.23 at the moment, so I think dinner for us would be sorted um, once the kids are done at the beach. And this is just lovely, guys. This is just amazing. With the helicopter ride, I don't know if you can see, there's a helicopter going over there. So they will show you this town from the top. And I did spy this beach. Um, it is, it's quite nice. And obviously it's very family friendly as you can see there's not many people here and kids can easily swim and look there are so many seagulls over there i just need to keep an eye on these guys um but yeah it's beautiful So it's time to head back guys. This is Port Campbell. There's loads of parking here and I should tell you about Melbourne. It is slightly colder than Sydney so don't be deceived by the sun. It was slightly uh, breezy in the evening and it does tend to get slightly cold so definitely keep um, like an overcoat with you. But look at this spot. It's beautiful and amazing. Uh, that is somewhere where we were on the beach so I hope you enjoyed this video and you will come back for more Australia content don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel see ya